Hello and welcome to today's videos on how to configure Express Domain in Exchange 2016. So after installing Exchange 2016, you may want to set up accepted domains. By default, fully qualified domain name of forest root domain is configured as authoritative accepted SMTP domain. If you want to accept mail from different SMTP domain names or you want to relay email, then you need to configure accepted domain in Exchange. Or might be if you have a dot local internal domain name and you want to set up dot com or other domain name, then this is where you add the domain name. In our lab environment, we have a domain name mylab.local and we want to set up mylab.video as our SMTP domain and that we have to set up and that time we have to set up accepted domains to do so. Now let's configure accepted domain in our Exchange 2016 organization. To configure accepted domain in Exchange 2016 organization, you have to log on to Exchange Admin Center. And as you can see already, I log into our Exchange Admin Center with the credential of our user administrator. That means I have a sufficient privilege to perform the task. Once you open Exchange Admin Center, now click on Mail Flow. On a Mail Flow, click on Accepted Domains. And there you can see our mylab.local default domain and the domain type is authoritative. Is there? Now click on plus sign to add new domain over here. Now let's specify the name that will be display as a accepted domain and let's specify the name mylab.video. Now let's specify the SMTP name of your domain or if you have a subdomain. Let's specify mylab.video and here we have a total three options. Now first is authoritative. In authoritative accepted domains, Action Server hosts mailboxes that have email address that use that the domain. For example, MyLab is a company with MyLab.local domain name. If I Action Server hosts mailboxes with the email address containing MyLab.local domain, then MyLab.local is considered to be authoritative domain for our exchange organization. Many organizations have company.local internet domain and which is not routable on an internet so you have to add company.com smtp domain as a accepted domain. In addition, you have to create an email address policy to match company.com domain name. Mail exchange record also need to point to the company.com domain. Action organization can be configured with one or more authoritative domain. Now second we have internal relaying options. In internal relaying accepted domains, Action server of the company hosts some mailboxes and rest are hosted somewhere else. This is useful if you have a shared SMTP domain between two organizations where some mailbox reside in a one company and some on another. So when you can configure internal relay, action server will try to find a mailbox in an existing exchange network first and if it does not find it, will forward to another organization by using configure list of send connectors. And the third, we have external relay. In external relay accepted domain, action server of the company accept emails for non-authoritative domain and forward them to authoritative email server via send connector. If you want your action server to be SMTP server for other organizations or companies, then you have to configure external relay. Your action server does not host mailboxes but will receive emails from other organization and forward it to external SMTP server. Now let's click on save because we want to add these accepted domain as an authoritative domain in our exchange organization. Click on save and that's it. Now as you can see we have a mylab.video accepted domain as an authoritative domain type. So in this way you can configure accepted domains in Exchange 2016. In the next video, we'll see how to configure email address policy in Exchange 2016. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching.